uh, today I decided I wanted to try uh, cutting off the bottom of a plastic water bottle and then using that to pour over in hopes I would make some kind of a flower bloom. I will be um, putting purple folk art pouring paint on the canvas to cover that a dark purple. And the other paints, uh, the, the pinkish colored paints, those are all because of pouring paints. And I'll also be using the gold uh, paint by Folk Art, which is also a pouring paint. So once I get this canvas all covered, I'm going to put that cut piece of the bottom of the water bottle. Which I just use an exacto knife to cut that off. And you'll see the ridges on that piece of plastic which originally, as you'll see, uh, pouring the white on top of it first. And I had to like force a little bit of the paint to go down into the grooves. So it would start going down onto the canvas. But I probably, in an afterthought, should have probably just kept pouring on the colors instead of uh, pouring more white. And this is also a yellow that I used too, so I forgot about that. Kind of looks like an egg there, but flower egg perhaps. And then I'll start bringing in the pinkish, reddish colors. So yeah, it's kind of lopsided on one side. Obviously my table is not level. I'm going to have to bust out my leveler and my level and, and um, see what I can do. Perhaps it's just the top because I do have a tilting top on my craft desk. Um, so I can uh, make sure my my paintings don't just tilt to one side as it was doing there. So I tried helping it here by tilting it a little bit, but I think that's also was not a good idea. I probably should have just lifted that plastic cap off at this point, but... No, <laughs> I decided to keep going. <laughs> you never know what comes. You know, it's pretty, pretty, most of the time you can't really do anything wrong because even if you mess up, you can correct it and um, make it into something that really looks nice. And it even probably takes time to make it look nice even after you're all done throwing the paint on, tilting it, blowing at it with a straw, using a hair blower, uh, because the paints continue to move around and make designs. And if there are cells that are gonna pop up, you know, they'll pop up later while, you're, while you've left the room. You come back in to see what it does. So, obviously, I don't have a flower bloom here. Because um, everything's just, it's just too, too thin. The paints are too thin. I, I perhaps should not have used all pouring paints. I should have um, made some thicker. So I will try this again, using different colors. Just to, yes, I would really like to try that flower bloom off of the um, bottle bottom, plastic bottle bottom. Of these, yeah, purple. The, the purple spots actually, I flicked the paint off of my fingers that were on my gloves, and that's how the rest of those purple spots jumped onto the gold. And, and uh, so it wasn't, it's those weren't cells that were popping open. So I'm using the rest of some of the gold paint I had set to the side just to see what else I could do with this. <laughs> Since it wasn't doing, since, you know, I'm just, just not doing what I thought I was going to do in the first place. But it's still all in the end. Comes out good. I liked it. And uh, I've called it Golden Leaves because by the time the paint has moved around on a canvas, after having left it for a while, um, to me it does look like Golden Leaves. I'm just running the skewer 
through these paints just to give it a little more um, design. And it, it is amazing what a skewer can do. It just uh, gives it more body, I guess. I don't know. So this is what I wound up doing. Just taking a piece of uh, yucky paint out of getting it all the way there. Most of this is really just doing hitting the skewer with it and um, probably going to hit it with the torch one more time just to see if there will be any additional cells coming up. 